welcome to our way learning today we're working on the 2018 audi rs3 and we are installing a forge oil catch can for the engine our engine seems to be using a little bit of oil on its intake causing pistons to turn black which the builder says is normal but our tuner is concerned and i'd rather be erring on the side of caution so we're gonna hopefully get rid of any oil that's getting sucked into our intake uh, because oil really ruins your octane rating which can cause detonation it can also create hot spots on the piston so hello forge engine oil catch can kit it will bypass the pcv hose from the pcv system it will hopefully separate any oil and then reconnect to the inlet so traditionally right off your pcv there's a hose that goes to your inlet and it's supposed to suck in any unspent fumes or whatever and what can happen if your oil separator isn't working correctly is you also get oil and then that goes into your intake blah 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 not great so we're gonna hopefully filter that out you'll have to drain this every now and then but let's get at it first things first you want to take your intake off it's gonna be different whether you have a you know we have the integrated engineering carbon fiber intake your stock intake because we are gonna be running some hoses over this way because this mounts right in this corner right here all right everyone get that a little bracket that'll go here cool beans next thing we're gonna do is uh take these coil packs off because we need to get at the pcv hose that runs between two and three so we're gonna get this harness off you pull back on that red tab and then you push down on the little spring tab here and then you undo these three 10 millimeter bolts or nuts holding the coil pack harness on off and then we are going to push all of these so if you push it in push the tab back slide it out <laughs> oh it's really really not fun in the cold if I do say so myself mm. okay side okay first thing the forge components so you lock your car so that your mirror is folded you get this make sure your o-rings down all the way thread that on here this is the adapter for the pcv and thread this guy onto here we've got our adapters for the oem pcv system and then we will put this BMW part, unfortunately, into here. It's just a push fit, like so. And then we will take these 10 millimeter bolts holding cylinders two and three coil packs. If I can figure out where I put my 10 millimeter wrench. All right, there we go. We have our battery disconnected, it's 10 millimeter in the trunk. Uh, we are gonna take these two bolt nuts off of these brackets back here. So, highly recommend taking the battery off because there's like a ground strap here and a positive access here for jumping the car. And this bracket is where the, the catch can will be mounted. Okay, and that's a captured nut. And we'll take a 13 over this red nut. <clears throat> Set that aside for now. Pull this outward. And I believe we will just sneak the mounting bracket behind there. So that will look something like this. Feels incredibly close to this box. 
No, but it does sit. It sits left of that, so I think we are okay. We'll get this ground strap back in there. Alright, and then uh, we attach the, uh, the catch can herself. These four millimeter millitometer button head screws. In this case, it appears that it is not a four millimeter, but a three millimeter. out so we're gonna come over here remove these t20s from the pcv at this point it's incredibly important for you to smash the like button t20s three of them on this <laughs> right here i'm guessing this hose gets completely removed since there's an adapter for the forge hose to connect to this pcv block and then the other hose will most likely connect directly here, my guess. All right, get that hose loose there. Just give you an idea what we're working with here. We undid the uh, T20s there on that. And we will most likely be removing this hex here, which is like looks like a four millimeter. Take this hose out, there'll be a hose that goes to the catch can and one that returns to the inlet right here. Supposedly, we heat up this, uh, this hose over here, this PCV hose, we should be able to pull it off. end of the breather hose, peel back the cloth tape to reveal white plastic band. Okay. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. I'm gonna try to get this hose just out of here quick so that I can oh, pull on it a little harder. Okay. Yes, sir. -y. Okay, now we gotta get it past these ground harnesses. Yeah. Okay, maybe we can get more reefer in on it from that angle. Heat her back up. Two hours later. There we go, and we tore it. Good stuff. The iRos one uh, comes with the fitting, so you could just unscrew that. I don't know if that's worth $300 more. I don't know. So now we are gonna put our adapter on here. Oh man, you do something like that, it looks like. That is a beautiful piece of aluminum right there. Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm threading into plastic, so don't over, over ugga dugga on these guys. But what you should over ugga dugga is the comments below. Proven strategies. Coil backs back in play. Get these guys all situated. Because we're gonna have to come through with the old piece of the new catch can hose, you know, so I want to make sure all this stuff connects up still and then we'll we'll rippity doo da with the old catch can hose that's gonna go. You know what I'm saying? I'm am I just talking to myself? Yeah. Has he completely lost his marbles? So we're taking this longer hose. It's gonna go something like that. 
We're gonna run the other side, something like, some pierce like that, you know? You should hear that nice, positive click. Maybe that'll run something like that. Kind of a firm hose. And then this is just a friction fit, it seems. You want to loop that up a little bit, you know? Push the fitted round and breathe it pipe adapter. You'll hear a click which tells you it's probably this one will push fit under the turbo elbow. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> And the other hose, something like this. And they're just gonna fight each other, obviously. That's not the most exciting looking setup there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see if I can. Alright, well, there's a thing that's supposed to tie these together, but uh, I don't think they're really going to benefit from that at all, to be completely honest with you. There's usually a little more room when you've got the stock 3-inch intake tube there, but uh, send her bud.